Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, we will discuss an introduction to numerical systems. So I have been uh, informed that the numerical system, the videos pertaining to the numericals, uh, to numerical systems uh, was not as informative as it should have been. People feel it was designed for those who actually know or are aware of numerical systems. So I have decided to create a new playlist for all numerical systems, uh, whether they are decimal, hexadecimal, uh, binary or octal. And I will uh, discuss these systems uh, in a simple and understandable manner, hopefully, inshallah, bi'idhnillah and God willing. So I will discuss the numerical systems from the beginning, as if the audience that is watching these episodes, if they are watching anyways, <laughs> are unaware of numerical systems. So this playlist is designed to teach numerical systems from the beginning, if you are, <coughs> uh, if you lack any knowledge in numerical systems. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen, wa arda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'in, Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala alihi Ibrahim, وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter, and we thank Him for all of His blessings that He has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him and his family. Amen. Oh, sorry, someone is at the door. I will be right back. Apologies for that. That was rather auspicious. <laughs> Okay, so we have four different types of or different systems for numbers. We have the binary numerical system. We have the decimal numerical system. We have the octal numerical system. And finally, we have the hexadecimal system. These numbers are used uh, for counting in particular situations, mainly for computational sciences uh, or anything related to that field, such as programming or um, hardware development, for example, processor architecture, uh, memory management, and so on and so forth. But other than that, we normally use the decimal system uh, at supermarkets or at libraries and so on and so forth. Any retail outlet uses the decimal numerical system. Everything else uh, has a particular uh, setting or a particular field in which they are used. For example, uh, though this is also used alongside this in network programming, such as uh, IP addresses. IP addresses are written in decimal. But for subnet masking, it utilizes the binary numerical system for turning bytes on and off, or bits, I should say. Uh, and IP addresses also use hexadecimal digits. And you also have uh, memory addresses that are stored in hexadecimal. Machine code is uh, binary. I honestly do not know what octal is used for. Probably there simply to have an even number instead of odd numbers of numerical systems. <laughs> Honestly, I have, not I have not seen anyone use octal. I have used hexadecimal, binary, and decimal repeatedly in this field, or rather the computational scientific field. I have not used octal, to be quite honest. 
and for my biological scientific field I only used decimal <clears throat> so let us discuss each system and we will end the lecture for today then uh, moving onwards bi'ithnillah and God willing we will discuss how to count in each numerical system then how to convert between these numerical systems which is incredibly important though for the binary system uh, we will have and the hexadecimal system we will have specialized lectures for negative values because at the addition of a negative uh, sign for binary and hexadecimal is different than decimal you cannot simply add a negative sign before those two numbers uh, we can possibly add that to octal but no one uses octal to be quite frank so firstly let us discover the basis for each a numerical system we will start with decimal because that is the one people are aware of this in French means 100 uh, sorry not 100 <laughs> that is cent or cent with the T is silent uh, a lot of letters are silent in French which makes it a stupid language anyways uh, I prefer to pronounce what I spell which is Arabic every other language lacks that unfortunately so this is 10 that means the decimal numerical system has the base 10 we will discuss what base means in just a moment so for now just know that the decimal system is to the base 10 remember here we are discussing the numerical system not the decimal point the decimal point is known as a radix or a radix uh, generally but for each system it would be called the binary ra uh, radix or radix decimal radix or decimal point octal point and hexadecimal point we can cover that later and God willing so for now we know that decimal is to the base 10 binary is to the base 2 the word binary means uh, two two options uh, two choices two opportunities and so on and so forth so you have it here to the base 2 oct is greek for 8 at least I recall it is Greek that means this is to the base 8 and finally here we said this is 10 and then you have hex which is 6 in um, Greek so 6 10 which means 16 so base 16 so these are the different numerical systems that we have. Remembering the base for each numerical system is incredibly important because it will benefit you when we start counting and uh, con uh, converting numbers. In addition to uh, arithmetic operations such as addition or subtraction, knowing which base you are calculating the sum or the difference uh, in is incredibly important. We will cover counting for each system in the upcoming episodes, bi'ithnillah and God willing. So I will be erasing the three playlists that I have for binary, octal, and hexadecimal and simply grouping all of them into one comprehensive playlist that contains everything for beginners and people who are aware or have knowledge in numerical systems though if they have knowledge I doubt they will be watching these videos but you are more than welcome to watch them of course <laughs> these videos are free they are not paid or part of a paid course okay so let us see what bases here mean we will start with the decimal system because that is the most common numerical system uh, or rather 
most people are aware of the decimal system or use the decimal system in one form or another. Now, if I have a number that is like so, and if you are Muslim, you would know what this means. <laughs> or you're probably checking your uh, Hijri calendar by now. But you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is somewhat of an inside joke, as they say. I have the number 1,443. Uh, originally, or rather at lower levels of mathematics in school, you were taught that each digit has a name for it. So the digit here at the far right, this is known as the ones digit. And you will see why it is called ones in just a moment. So if they if you were not taught this in school, here is a surprise for you. <laughs> so this is the ones digit. This number is known as the hundreds digits so it is in the location or the slot of the hundreds digit digit of course means a particular number in a certain slot so this is a digit this is a digit this is a di digit and this is a digit also your fingers can be called or referred to as digits as well then we have this digit so these four digits constitute a number because this is a singular number but it is formed from four digits that is the difference this digit is known as oh sorry you see i made a mistake here this is not the hundreds i apologize this is the tens digit this is the location of the tens this is the location of the hundreds hundreds and finally this location or this digit is at the location of the thousands as you can see here now why is this digit or this location called ones this location is called tens this location is known as hundreds and this location is known as thousands because of the base 10 numerical system as you can see we start from one and then we increment as we move to the left that is because mathematics was pioneered discovered or invented however you wish to label it by uh, Muslims and in Islam because our language is Arabic we read the numbers from right to left hence we start from the lowest digit on the right here and increase as we move to the left so remember you will be counting as if you are an Arabic speaker or a Muslim so you will be reading from right to left so the golden rule here for any numerical system, if you wish to understand this clearly, you will be reading from right to left. Even though in certain languages you will be reading, if you wish to speak the number, you will start from the left to the right. For example, in English, this number will be known as 1,443. Uh, in French, who cares about French? They have a strange numerical system there. In German, you would say ein thousand, vier uh, hundert, uh, vier und dreizig. Just as an example, you are counting from left to right. In Arabic, however, I will say, if I wish to pronounce this number in Arabic, I will say three four forty four hundred one thousand so i will say three 
40, 400, 1000. That is literally how I would say it in Arabic. So remember, from henceforth, you will be counting from the right to the left. You will be counting as an Arabic speaker or a Muslim, which might upset some people considering <laughs> how people feel about Islam, but I honestly do not care. That is the truth. You will be counting from right to left whether you like it or not anyways. So, as you can see, we are starting from the lowest digit on the right and incrementing as we reach the highest digit on the left. Okay. Why is this called ones? This is called tens, this is called hundreds, and this is called thousands because of the base 10. What does base mean? If you recall from exponents, let us say for example I have 2 to the power of 3. This is known as an exponent and this is known as a base. So when I say base 10, I mean that this number, the base here, will be 10, like so. Oh, a brush will be 10. To the power of what? That is what you will see uh, in a moment. So base 2 means 2 to the power of a certain number. Base 8 is 8 to the power of a certain number. And base 16 means 16 to the power of a certain number. I will be writing these later on after we finish dissecting this number. I just want to show you where this terminology came from so that you can understand it later on when we are counting in octal or hexadecimal or binary. The reason this digit is called ones is because this digit is 10 to the power of zero. Any number to the power of zero is equal to one. So 10 to the power of zero is equal to one. Thus, this digit is called one because we begin with the base 10 and we always start with an exponent of zero. 10 to the power of zero and that gives us one. When you move to the left, you keep the base as the same, of course. Let me change the color. And you increment the exponent by one. So we always start at exponent zero from the right, and we increment by one or add one to it every time we hop locations. So this will be 10 to the power of zero plus one, which is 10 to the power of one. And that any number to the power of 1 is equal to itself. So 10 to the power of 1 is 10. Thus, it is called tens. Now we move to this digit. This is known as 100 because here the base is 10 to the power of 1 plus 1 is 2. 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 10 to the uh, 10 times 10 which is equal to 100 thus the name hundreds finally at 1000 the base will still be 10 you do not change the base you only change the exponent here it will be 2 plus 1 so 10 to the power of 3 which is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 which is equal to 1,000, thus the name thousands. 
and of course if you add another digit it will be ten thousands ten to the power of four if you add another digit it will be hundred thousands ten to the power of five and so on and so forth so remember in any numerical system dissect the number pertaining to that system whether it is decimal octal hexa decimal or binary into its respective digits start from the right and move to the left keep the base con consistent whether it is 2 10 8 or 16 and start with the exponent 0 and then increment each exponent by 1 as you move from right to left so let us write these rules these this rule will benefit us greatly when we learn conversions when we convert from binary to decimal or from decimal to octal or from octal to hexadecimal and so on and so forth this will benefit us greatly so firstly we should write the bases so this is 2 to the base n n could be any number 0 1 2 it cannot be a decimal number of course you cannot say 2 to the power of 2.2 we cannot count uh, with decimal numbers or floating points floating points is another name for uh, a number with a decimal point 10 to the power of n actually I will write the base in one color and the exponent in a different color 2 10, 8, and 16. Those are the bases. And uh, we can use this color 2 to the power of n, 2 to the uh, 10 to the power of n, 8 to the power of n, and 16 to the power of n. We have the base and the exponent and remember the exponent dictates the number of repetitions uh, through multiplications so if i say 2 to the power of 2 it means 2 multiplied by 2 so i repeated the number twice in multiplication if i say 2 to the power of 5 i repeat the number five times and i multiply all the numbers together of course this is constant so if it is 2 to the power of 5, you will have 5 twos like so. Just in case there is a person watching this video who is unfamiliar with exponentiation. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 5, like so. So the base is always constant. The, the repetitions... Uh, depend on the number used for the exponent now for any number of any numerical system the rule is as follows start from the rightmost digit and uh, and move towards the left so we will start from the rightmost digit and then move towards the left each digit will have its respective base so if you are count if you are dissecting a decimal number the base will be 10 if it is a binary number, 2. If it is an octal number, 8. And if it is a hexadecimal number, the base will be 16. Where the base will remain constant. Exponents start with, and I will highlight it, with 0. from the rightmost digit and increment by 1 as we move to the left 
So remember, we always start with 0. 2 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 0, and so on and so forth, provided that we start from the rightmost digit. So this would be the rule for digit uh, digital location. Like so. So this would be our these three rules are pivotal when it comes to the numerical systems. Let us cover an example for binary, an example for decimal, and an an example for octal and an example for hexadecimal before we end. We will not discuss the rules for each system yet, but I would like to implement these three rules for each system so that we cement the information in our minds. So firstly, let us cover the binary number. Let us cover a binary number. And we will use uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. I just chose that number. I did not think of it. So if it does refer to anything, it was unintentional. So let us dissect this number. Firstly, we will start from the rightmost digit and then move to the left. Remember, we are counting from right to left. So, what is the digit, the, this location for this digit? It is, if you wish to know the, the, the names, that, I mean, you can uh, infer the names from the calculation, but you do not really need to know the names. So, this will be 2 because it is binary, so the base 2. And what is the exponent? We always start with 0. So 2 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So this is the 1's digit for binary. What is this? the location of this digit? This digit will be 2, because the base remains the same, to the power of 0 plus 1, which is 1, and that is equal to 2. So this is the 2's digit. We do not need to know the names, but you do need to know this. This is incredibly important. Now, what is the name of this digit? This will be 2 to the power of 1 plus 1. 2. So 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. So this is the 4's digit. Uh, you know what? Just to avoid uh, being repetitive or annoyingly repetitive, I will just tackle 4 digits only. That way I am not annoyingly repetitive for the audience. And then we have this digit. This will be, if I can squeeze it here, 2, because the base is constant, to the power of 2 plus 1. So that is 3. So this, which is equal to 8, this means this digit is known as the 8's digit. But again, you do not have to call it that. If you call it the 2 to the power of 3 digit, that is more than enough. Na uh, nomenclature is unimportant with regards to uh, digital locations. But if you wish to know the names, feel free to know the names. I will not reprimand you. <laughs> okay, this is the binary. If you would like to exercise, Keep extending the numbers, provided that you only use 0 and 1, because that is a specialty of binary, and label the other locations.
if you wish to if you wish to implement that exercise just remember to use only zeros and ones for binary we will cover the nature of binary later on do not worry be and god willing now for decimal so we will repeat what we covered again but we will use four digits and it will be quicker this time uh, so one four four three What is the name of this digit? This is to the base 10 because it is decimal. To the power of what? What is the exponent? We always start from 0 when we start from the right. 10 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So this is the 1's digit. What is the name of this second digit? This is 10 because the base is constant, to the power of 0 plus 1, 10 to the power of 1, which is equal to 10. So this is the tens digit. What is the name of this digit? This digit is at the following location. Uh, I am using the brush. 10 because that is the base and it is constant to the power of 1 plus 1 so it is 2 so this is 100 so this location is known as the 100s digit and finally we have this digit what is the location of this digit this will be 10 because the base is constant, to the power of 2 plus 1, so it is 3, which is equal to 1,000. Thus, this digit is known as the, one thou the thousands digit. Okay, let us cover octal. The octal is to the base 8. So... 8 will be our base instead of 10 and 2. And let us cover, let us take a number as an example. Uh, 7, 6, because 8 does not exist in octal, 8 and above. Technically just 8 and 9, not above as in 10. 10 exists in octal. But 8 and 9 do not exist. We will cover that later. So what is the name of this digit? This digit is at this location. 8 to the power of 0. Remember the base here is 8 because it is octal. Is equal to 8 to the power of 0 is 1. So this is the 1's digit. You will see that the rightmost digit in all numerical systems is the 1's digit because it is always a number to the power of 0. So it will always be 1. Now, what is the name of this digit or the location of this digit? This is 8 to the power of one, uh, 0 plus 1, so 1, and that is equal to 8. So this is the 8's digit. If we had a digit here, it will be 8 to the power of 2 which is equal to 64, so that will be the 64's digit, and so on and so forth. Feel free to exercise with numbers, provided that you do not add a digit that is equal to 8 or 9. From 0 to 7 is applicable. Anything beyond 7, so 8 and 9, is not applicable with octal uh, numerical systems. Finally, we have hexadecimal hexadecimal like so and let us let us take uh, well this should be an interesting number if you have not watched the previous playlists or you are new to this uh, to the numerical systems topic so we can say a 1 5 
we will cover what does this mean later on inshallah bi'ibnillah and God willing so the base here is 16 okay now let us see what the name of this digit or the location of this digit this digit is at the location of 16 to the power of 0 which is equal to 1 so this digit is known as the ones digit or is at the ones location what about this digit what is the location of this digit or the name of this digit 16 because that is the base it remains constant to the power of 0 plus 1 so 16 to the power of 1 which is equal to 16 so this is the 16's location and finally we have a here what is the location of a you probably have guessed it it is 16 to the power of 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and that is equal to uh, that was 250 256 yes uh, I may have to pull this away like so and pull this here so I can write the number 200 and 56 so this digit or the location of this digit is called 256 or sixes however you wish to uh, group them and that is it with regards to the basis for the different numerical systems in the upcoming lectures, bi'ithnillah and God willing, we will cover counting for each numerical system. And then, after we finish counting, we will cover conversions. And uh, when we wish to convert a number from uh, any numerical system to decimal, we will need these locations. So please exercise with these locations. Keep adding numbers. For hexadecimal, 0 to 9, and then uh, A to F is valid. 0 to 9, and after 9 is A to F for each digit. For octal, it is 0 to 7. Decimal is from 0 to 9, of course, for each digit. And binary is from 0 to 1. If you wish to keep adding digits to exercise, feel free to do so because this will become incredibly important in conversions. So please ensure that you understand this concept before you watch the videos pertaining to conversions. And unless, of course, you have watched these already uh, for other YouTubers, that is, of course, uh, incredibly valid and applicable. <laughs> but if you will be watching the, con the lectures pertaining to conversions later on for this playlist, ensure that you understand this concept before you move on to conversions. So the rule is you always start from the right to the left. The base remains constant. And the exponent starts from 0 and is incremented by 1 as you move to the left. And that is it with regards to this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Fil alameen. Innaka hamidun majid.